looks like we're finally getting some snow. And that means it's a good day to season some cast iron. Time to open up the lye tank and dig out a few pans that have been in there for the last few weeks or so. Here is our BSNR number eight. And here is another BSNR number eight. Now this one is a chicken fryer. Here is an Asian-made pan that I got cheap, and I really like the look of this, the unusual shape. We start out by covering the bottom oven rack with foil. This is so that when the pans are seasoning in the oven, there won't be any excess oil that might drip off and burn and stain the bottom of the oven. And we get down to the dirty work of washing off the lye and giving it a good scrub with Barkeeper's Friend. None of these pans are in bad condition, so this shouldn't be too difficult. It's just a little time consuming because we're going to have to wait for the pans to season in the oven. And that's why today is a good day to season cast iron. Oh, that wasn't hard. And now to dry it off. We don't have to wipe it off so it's bone dry right now, just enough so that we can coat it with oil or Crisco, and then we will dry it off further in the oven. Now we coat every inch of the surface of the pan with Crisco, and we can be generous here. And again, we are not seasoning this yet. This first coating of uh, Crisco here is really meant to prevent flash rust more than anything else. And we put it in the oven and move on to the next pan. And here's the chicken fryer. The lye took off most of its original seasoning, but we just have to give it a good scrubbing to get it down to the bare metal. This one has an interesting casting flaw on the inside here. You'd almost think it was a crack, except that if you examine it closely, you can see that it's actually uh, rather rounded and not an actual crack, and more importantly, there is absolutely nothing on the outside. So, that is just a casting flaw. And now for the BSNR number eight. As you can see, we're getting into a routine here where we simply scrub off the extra residue, we wipe it off and coat it with Frisco, and then into the oven it goes. And in addition, we're going to be seasoning a fourth cast iron pan, a Stargazer 10-inch skillet. I've actually managed to wear off the existing seasoning on this brand new cast iron pan, and so we're doing the exact same thing here that we're doing to the other pans. And finally, we get down to actually seasoning these pans. We heat up the oven and the pans to 200 degrees Fahrenheit, and then we rub on a real layer of Crisco for the first seasoning. Mm, 
Once we've covered every inch of this pan with Crisco, we then take a paper towel and wipe it off. There will still be a very thin residue of Crisco on the surface of the pan, and that's actually what we're going to carbonize or burn into a layer of seasoning. And we do the same thing with BSR Chicken Fryer. We give it a good coating of Crisco and then wipe it off. Next comes the BSR Century number 8. And finally, the Stargazer Skillet. And the second step of seasoning the cast iron is to heat the pans up to 300 now, and then we wipe them off again. This is to prevent the seasoning from being too thick and to give it that blotchy look that nobody likes. And now we're done with the wiping. We just heat up the pans now to 400 degrees, which is above the smoke point of Crisco, and we wait for about an hour and a half. Then we let the pans cool off for a little while, but we don't have to wait for them to become completely cool, because now we can start the second seasoning. The pans are still above 200 degrees in temperature, which means we can rub on some more Crisco, and then proceed to the next step of raising the temperature again to 300. This is the fun part about seasoning cast iron. That is, if you can call wiping Crisco onto pans fun. I guess a better word for it would be satisfying, because we can see the results when the pans take on this wonderful dark color. And now we wipe the pans off for the final time. Then we raise the temperature to 400 degrees once again and wait another hour and a half. And after spending the entire afternoon relaxing and seasoning cast iron, here are the results. The BSR Chicken Fryer, BSR number eight, the Asian skillet, and finally, the Stargazer cast iron skillet.